I used to publish quite a lot of videos on tools and workshop equipment, that sort of thing, but looking back over the last year, I haven't done an awful lot, which is a shame really, because I'm always being asked by people for suggestions on the type of tools that they should buy. Particularly suggestions on budget tools, because not everyone can afford the best. Or at least they maybe can't justify it because they don't do an awful lot of maintenance themselves. So the main subject of this video is what I consider to be a little gem of a socket set. But first of all, a little bit of news that may or may not be of interest to you, we'll see. Now as most of you are aware, I took a couple of weeks off over Christmas and it's more or less the first time that I've done this since I started the channel three years ago. Now it's not something that I've mentioned on this channel in the past because it doesn't really relate to this channel. But as well as my interest in bikes and photography, I've always been an avid aquarist. In fact, I think I set my first aquarium up when I was about eight. And it was a hobby that sort of evolved from there. And by the time I was 18, I'd started keeping marine fish. So that's what, 37 years ago. Now in the past, I've had the big 100 gallon and 150 gallon reef aquariums. And in the late 1990s, early 2000s, I'd gained a bit of a reputation in the industry. I was a clownfish breeder which is quite an involved and difficult process in itself. And I used to sell the clownfish to people in the industry to gain some money back, because it is an expensive hobby. And I was often approached to design and build systems for public display in restaurants, shops, and private applications for those that could afford it. Even to the point of designing and building systems for large aquatic centres, and I think it was the last job that I did, designing, building and commissioning a large aquatic centre that sort of killed off any interest that I had in been involved in this industry. Now, my main interest over the last 20 years or so has been what are known as nano reefs. That's very small reef aquariums, something that's manageable and not too expensive to buy and run. Something which 20 years ago was frowned upon because they weren't considered practical or safe to run. Now, going back to where I started, the town that I had off over Christmas, a small reef aquarium that I've had running for four years now sprang a leak. Christmas was upon us, and to cut a long story short, I had to get rid of some of the stock from the tank to friends and acquaintances. And then between Christmas and New Year, I procured a new aquarium. Now I've set this new nano reef up in my main office area where I do my editing and all my channel admin. The thought processes behind that being that I'm with it most of the time so I can keep an eye on it more easily than I did with my last nano reef. Now, with time on my hands over the Christmas period, this meant that I could do some research in finding the right equipment. Because advances in equipment are being made all the time, and the equipment that I was using was a little bit outdated. And this also gave me time to take stock of the situation with this channel. Now, as I've said in the past, the subject of motorcycles on YouTube is a niche subject. Very few such channels reach a self-supporting level within a reasonable length of time. Motorcycle channels are also very resource hungry. And I'm looking at a lot of years of hard work before I could start to draw anything approaching a living from this channel. Now, YouTube's advice to people like me, the advice that's constantly been thrown at me, is diversity. YouTube creators that stick at one thing and just keep one channel have a very steep hill to climb. And in fact, some of the most successful YouTube creators run multiple channels, which is sort of where I'm heading with this announcement. Reef keeping channels here on YouTube are very well covered, there's a lot of them. But like everything else on YouTube, there's good and there's bad. And I do believe that there's a place there for me. Now just before Christmas, if you remember, I invested in some new audio equipment for doing my voiceovers. Using it is still a work in progress, but what has amazed me is how much it has sped up my workflow. So, in the next couple of weeks, I will be releasing content on my channel 
the practical reef keeper now it's a long story this channel also has some motorcycle content on it from the early days of this channel I know that not everyone is going to be interested in this kind of thing but with 23,000 subscribers the law of averages says that there will be some people there to whom it is of interest. I'll leave a link to this channel in the video description down below and I ask that if you can find the time please subscribe to it if it's the kind of content that you think you might be interested in. Now as for the content on the Mini that I mentioned a few months ago, I've had a lot of people inquiring about this and I've decided that this content, because I have done quite a bit of filming for it, will be put on this channel. But this will be additional content, it won't interfere with the current schedule. Right, let's get on with some bikey stuff. Well over a year ago a company called Blue Spot sent me this little 46 piece socket set. Now people that live in the UK may be aware of this brand, they sell budget price tools, mainly Chinese in origin and packaged to their brand. Now we've all had budget brand socket sets and tools in the past. Some are made from monkey metal and they're only fit for the bin, but some aren't too bad especially if you're only an occasional user. Now, I believe Blue Spot sent me this year before last. I've had it for a long time. To me, it looks fairly generic, and at the time, it just didn't fit in with the kind of content that I was putting out, so I put it to one side and forgot all about it. I keep it on a shelf near to the garage door, and as I'm sure you're aware, my garage is a bit congested with motorcycles so it makes getting to the bench at the back of the garage a bit inconvenient at times so more and more over the last eight months or so if i've needed to make minor adjustments on any of the bikes i found myself gravitating towards this little socket set because it has just about everything you'd need for a bike don't get me wrong i'm not saying that this is some mythical high quality socket set at a low price it's not but for your average biker that gets most of his servicing done by a dealer and just wants a comprehensive little socket set that can get him out of a jam when something needs adjusting or repairing, you could do a lot worse. Reviews on Amazon were a bit of a mixed bag so I wasn't very hopeful of its quality initially. It's not been used and abused but it has had a fair amount of use and it's stood up to the test of time so far very well. The first point to mention is that it does come in a very sturdy blown case. I remember once buying a very similar socket set that didn't come with a case and I've got absolutely no idea where all the parts are now even though I never used it much. Now as far as the conventional sockets in this kit go it covers the range from 6 to 14 millimeters which is a very useful size range for a motorcyclist. It's a quarter inch drive set and it also comes with a comprehensive range of flathead, posi drive and Philip screwdriver bits and the most popular sizes of Allen bits and torque bits. There's only the more unusual or larger sizes that are not included. Now in the way of drivers it comes with one ratcheting driver, one screwdriver handle, two extension bars, a long one and a short one, a quarter inch drive T-bar and one of those flexible extensions that I never use. It also has a quarter inch drive universal joint. Now this is a very cheap socket set and there are two notable features that you don't normally see at this price point. The actual screwdriver handle does incorporate a quarter inch drive at the top. This means that if you do have a particularly stubborn fastener, you can use the quarter inch ratchet drive to give you extra purchase and lessen the chances of damaging the fastener. The ratchet drive also has a very useful button release for your sockets, not something you would normally see at a low price like this. And it's a very welcome feature when you have oily, slippery hands. Now I can't vouch for the quality of the steel in this kit, it's probably not the best, but the chrome work on all the pieces is really good quality 
And for general light duties, it's more than up to the job. Granted, given a choice, we would all like to have the very best high quality tools available, but they cost a lot of money. I think the recommended retail price of this kit when Blue Spot first sent it to me was round about £27-28. But partly what prompted me to make this video is that I had a look recently and it's selling for well under £19 through Amazon. Now for the type of guy that doesn't do an awful lot of his own maintenance, servicing, that kind of thing, you still need some tools to get by for minor adjustments and just general routine maintenance. And I fully understand that there are a lot of people that fit into that category that don't want to spend shed loads of money on tools. So to my mind, I think this very compact little toolkit is ideal for the motorcyclists that just wants some tools to get by with. There is enough in this kit to carry out most routine maintenance tasks. I will leave a link for this little kit in the video description down below through Amazon. Once again, thank you so, so much for watching this video and taking the time to help support my channel. If you've enjoyed this video and found it useful, I really would appreciate it if you would leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I will of course be back again next week as usual, so until then, Ride safely, and I'll see you soon.